Let's say you've written a great paper for your college or university or your work and you want to add a nice cover to it. And it has some really nice templates for what we can do that with. So let's go to insert and there's our cover page button. And look at all those different options. And if you give it a second, it'll go ahead and populate. Let's choose this option right here, filigree. And we can click on our document title and we can make a change, how to bake bread and the subtitle is don't screw it up there we go so there's our title let's change that to be something different let's go with banded and we can see it keeps the words that i typed in there already except for any sub document type words because it doesn't have that option let's go and choose one of these other ones over here and it went ahead and added back in my subtext. And this one also gives us the option to type in some additional text as well. Now, if you don't see one that you like here, and there are a lot of different ones that you can choose from here if you scroll down, you can go to where it says more cover pages from office.com. So we click on that, and we see a few additional options here. Now, there's only a few here, so what we want to do is go to File, and then we want to go to New, and we're going to click on where it says Search for Online Templates and click on Cover Page. Now we see a lot more options that we didn't see before because it's going out online and looking for cover pages for us as well. Let's choose Proposal and Marketing Plan. Click Create. It's downloading the template, and there it is. Now this one didn't save the type that I had done earlier, but you can go ahead and type that in, as well as your subtitle text as well. And if we decide we don't want the cover page that's in there, we can just choose to remove the cover page. And now the cover pages are gone, and you can start over.